Hi there, we're at McDonald's here. Um, sorry it's been a while since I've uh, been with you. Um, things haven't been too great. Husband's been unwell, was in hospital, back out. Hasn't got any better. In fact, we were back at the doctor, uh, doctor's today and uh, he's got another course of antibiotics and we'll hopefully see how we got on from there. So, um, I've been somewhat distracted and it's taken me a wee while to get around to things, but I have now completed finally um, a wee junk journal for you. It's an envelope junk journal. It is four and a quarter by six and a quarter in size. I have covered the outside. It initially was gessoed white and I've covered it with scrapbooking paper um, front and back and then what I've done is I have added um, an image that I had done, redone digitally, um, tore around the edge, used vintage photo and layered that on top of a book page. It's layered on top of some cheesecloth and at the bottom we have a wee, um, what do you call it, a wee rosette with some layered uh, doily and a banner and the word is possibility and that's the name of this uh, book. There's also a wee bit of lace here. Um, I've used a wee paper clip here just to hold this shut, the envelope, and inside is some die cut uh, tags that I've put the days of the week on and you can obviously use that for keeping memories of particular days. Now let's have a wee quick shifty through the book. The book itself has taken me so long to do, honestly. I think Michelangelo did the roof of the Sistine Chapel, well not the roof, but the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel quicker than I've done this book. Um, what we've got here is some, it's an image from Tsunami Rose, it's been die cut on a tag shape, then I've die cut a layered tag from a music paper on top of book page, die cut heart here and uh, a wee layered paper flower with a ticket and some ephemera from Tim Holtz. The paper in the book has been, a, I think it's coffee stained this one. This here is, a, I used a dye from the Sue Wilson range uh, for creative expressions. Another Tsunami Rose image here, die cut again, um, different shape but again on music paper and just layered that on top of some scrapbooking paper. This is from an Etsy seller, but I can't remember what her name was. Um, I'll see if I can try and find it out for putting in the listening. And we've got some more Tim Holtz ephemera here. Doily, scrapbooking paper. Um, this is a composition paper, squared composition paper. And I have stamped a butterfly on a book page here and added a couple of wee die cut banners. On the other side, I have a pocket by way of a wee die cut a wallet thing, die cut a ticket on top of it, and just made a tag. It's um, stamped with a uh, Versafine stamps and it has used. Let me think, it was a Lindy Stamp Gang spray. And here I have just scrapbooking paper which I've stamped up with a kind of vintage image from So Susie Stamps. You can do journaling in the back of that. A couple of die cut shapes here, layered tea stained paper on top of a piece of scrapbooking paper, a bit of stamping in the corner. Here I've got another die cut tag that I did and there's a variety of ephemera that I've just shoved in this one uh, that you can use. This tag's just stamped with a variety of images. One of the time cards here, a couple of bits of stamping added onto it. Um, this is another tuck spot. It is a stamp from, let me think what they're called. Gosh, I keep forgetting what they're called. Deep Red. Deep Red stamps. I've got a few of them recently from Amazon. Um, I did a bit of kind of layered stamping using different colours as well. And again, the Sue Wilson die on this page. 
another one of my images die cut onto music paper and lace round about need oily there glassine bag the glassine bag itself I don't know if it's going to show up on this but I actually dry embossed it um, it's not terribly this one's not terribly deep um, I've done another couple that I'll be cropping up hopefully quite soon uh, that are a bit more noticeable another piece of stamping here and I did the my my friend Aaliyah hopefully you subscribe to Aaliyah um, Aaliyah here she quite likes using little pieces of lace or ribbon on uh, the the holes in uh, ledger paper and the likes so it, it just so happened that the ledger paper where the holes were it wasn't actually in the right position for me so I punched another couple of holes and used ring reinforcers um, on the other side we've got a kind of old poem and a wee fabric flower there There's some more images there from myself uh, this is craft paper again uh, it's a stamp of a, a peacock feather and I just stamped it tore around it and I stuck it onto the craft paper and here we've got a wee die cut oval with a stamp of a frame or a mirror or whatever another one of my digital images here and here I have layered up a couple of stitched rectangles um, this is scrapbooking paper you can craft a thing made journal in the back of that as well this wee image here is just from a book I've got that was done by Crafty Individuals. And that's a wee bit of ephemera from Tim Holtz up the top there. A couple of wee bits of stamping that I cut out and stuck on there. Uh, another one of my tags. This one I have stamped a tandem bicycle onto a book page. And I layered that on top of a sort of distressed type tag. And you can obviously write on the back of that. Another one of my bookmark type tags that are uh, just an amalgam of stamping and it's done again with a Lindy Stamp Gang uh, spray to make it look nice and shimmery. Heart shaped oily there. Another one of my digital images, a variety of um, washi tapes and just a wee tag that I got. I got some, I actually got some crafting stuff at Christmas and it's not usual for me to get stuff but um, my brother and my sister both bought me wee bits and bobs and that happens to be one of them and another one of my digital images here with some book page and some scrap and paper that's been cut round about it and that's it so the book itself, the closure will be by way of uh, seam binding, but there's also a couple of tags that I'll be including with it that aren't actually in, they're not fitted into the book because they're just that little bit too big, but I thought they'd be quite useful for you perhaps if you've got another journal somewhere. Um, these are from, I think it's Maya Designs paper that I die cut and added some fabric flowers and paper flowers with some die cut leaves there's a doily there and a wee bit of lace and some petal trim that one's the same but with different types of petal trim there's also a wee bit of stenciling in the back of them too so that's it uh, hopefully these are of interest to you they'll be for sale or sorry it will be for sale in my Etsy shop by Gwen's Cards and I shall hopefully leave a listing um, below with everything else so thanks very much for watching thanks for sticking with me sorry i've been away for a wee while hopefully i'll get into the routine of trying to get at least something done each week that you can have a wee look at um, and you can let me know what you think so look forward to hearing from you all soon see you again guys bye bye